Chosen ones, where you are, where you are, where you are, where you are, where you are. Chosen ones, back with another powerful and productive video. Right? Congratulations. This is a good news. All right? Someone is coming your way to propose to you and marry you. Oh, yes, it's about to go down. It's about to go down. Yes, for my chosen ones, for the chosen ones in the house. It is about to go down now. I'm telling you, God says he is causing someone to cross path with you. All right. And this person is going to propose to you and marry you as a result of it. But God said, you need to first love yourself. God is saying, you cannot love this person and maintain a healthy relationship with this person if you don't first genuinely, sincerely love yourself. There are many people that claim, oh, I love myself. But deep within them, they don't really love themselves. Deep within them, they have a lot of shortcomings. They have things in them that they hate. But they never, ever invest time in themselves to work on themselves they want people to just love them the way they are yeah you want someone to love you the way you are but why aren't you also loving someone the way that person is and you are always complaining this person is this this person is that this god says you need to sincerely love yourself and when you sincerely love yourself you will be seeing love in the other person because most of the time what we see in others or what we say about others is a reflection of us it's something that is deeply within us but we forget to look deep within ourselves and we keep complaining about the other person thinking the other person is the problem you cannot fix anybody you can only fix yourself the moment you begin to fix yourself you become a role model you become a pace setter for the other person to look up to you to mirror you all right so if you keep complaining complaining remember energy flows into what you focus on into what you give your attention to what you focus on grow there are people who are in a relationship right now but they keep complaining about their partner their partner is this their partner is that their partner is bad their partner is not good enough you see and you keep on all right seeing more of bad things in your partner it is because you are focusing on the negative and what you are focusing on is going to grow is going to expand because that is what you're giving energy to all right you're giving attention to such things so if you are talking negative about your partner don't be surprised you are going to have more bad things to say about your partner why don't you look up for something positive in your partner because i believe the beginning of every relationship before you agree to someone's proposal or love or marriage there is something positive that you've seen in that person why don't you then focus on that positive thing but you later let the negativities and other things swallow you up overwhelm you and you keep complaining you keep lamenting you keep murmuring and you keep receiving more of that to change that habit all right when this person cross path with you and come you must look up for a positive thing in the person and begin to bless bless that thing and begins to praise that and i tell you as you bless and praise all right you are giving your attention into that so energy is going to flow into that and that is going to grow yes you see even with our kids if you try to shut them up and you keep i mean rebuking your kids your own kids all the time what happened they become very stubborn by the moment you pick something positive and you start praising the person you start suggesting to the person instead of rebuking the person seeing the person to be bad the person is going to change and that is how it is chosen ones all right so god is causing someone to cross path with you to propose marriage to you and to maintain this you need to change your attitude your thinking pattern the way you think your thoughts 
your words, your confessions. Right? Your confession. When what I mean by confession here, I don't mean you are your weak confessing your weakness or sin or something. The words that you speak carries power. Because it contains a frequency that you are sending it into the, the, the universe that brings back brings back a matching signal back to you. Press down, multiply, shaking, and giving to you. That is it. Everything you focus on is going to be pressed down, multiplied, and given to you. So if you keep on focusing about the negativity in your lover, in your partner, all of it is going to be pressed down, multiplied, and given to you. And you shouldn't be surprised why you keep on seeing negative things. Your relationship is not growing. Alright? God is saying to you, He's causing someone to cross path with you. To propose marriage to you all right to enhance this to manifest quickly as a chosen one all right if you are a guy and you want a wife you want a partner okay maybe you want multiple partners to date before you you choose the right one you select the right one okay or you just want one person bam all right the quickest way to speed up this manifestation is to paint okay if you are an artist you can draw yourself and you know these ladies that are so close to you that you know you sharing love you talking lovely you know you spending good time together and paste it in your in your hall in your room or whatever at a place that you keep seeing it each and every day all right and as you keep seeing it each and every day You'll be thinking of that, all right? And that picture will be in your mental eyes, okay? And with time, that is definitely going to manifest, all right? I'm telling you, that is a very quick way to manifest this dream lover of yours, all right? So if you are not an artist, you can make someone paint it for you or draw it for you and then you, 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 you put it there. All right. If you are a woman and you you are a lady and you are looking for a man, all right, you can equally do the same thing. Paint that man, you and that man, all right, and place it on a vision board or on a wall or somewhere that you will see it each and every day. And when you see it, you know it directs your thinking onto that. All right. This thing you are doing is to help you to, I mean, keep thinking about what you want because what you want okay are the things that are gonna be manifesting what you give your attention to what you keep seeing all right you are sending much signal into your mind all right and it will be impressed on your subconscious mind and that will be projected on the screen of space in the physical which will later become your reality all right great so that is what you can do to manifest this quickly all right the next thing you can do is to act as if you already you know have this partner with you all right great so if you are using a single bed you need to change that bed right now and change it to a double bed all right and pre pre prepare okay prepare you acting as if you receive the the thing already and that is fate is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. It is not seen in the physical, but that is what you are hoping for. You want a partner to share the same bed with, to share the same roof with. All right. So you create an atmosphere. You don't use a single bed. You use, you use a double bed and you sleep on half side. Because when this partner comes, for sure, this partner is going to also share half side with you. All right. And when you keep that feeling, of having it already oh it will quickly just manifest for you i'm telling you it works like magic if that is what you want that that is what you got to do all right that is what you got to do and i tell you boom this is going to happen and it's gonna astonish you it's gonna surprise you all right it's gonna surprise you okay but remember maintenance is key maintenance is key you can do all these things to attract to draw to you what you want 
but it takes good attitude positive attitude positive thinking all right to maintain this relationship all right a lot of people it's not that they are not being blessed with a partner they are being blessed with a partner some people are even being blessed with they, 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 their future helpers all right but they've pushed them away out of anger because of anger okay because of the weakness anger they've not worked on their anger and they provoke this person and they push this person away all right god has forgiven you now take the time to work on yourself all right so that you will be able to maintain this if this is what you want because there are people you're feeling so lonely and you need a partner if that is you then this is what you need to do when you do this i tell you give yourself just like three months some of you is going to happen for you okay before the end of this year some of you by half of next year middle of next year is going to happen for you it's going to happen and you'll be astonished you'll be surprised that is where the magic lies all right that is where the magic lies so don't be giving your attention to the things you don't want always focus on the things you want the loving nature the compassionate nature the kindness all right the generosity all right focus on the positive things in your partner and learn to praise your partner the more you keep praising somebody the person you know will want to do more but the more you keep saying negative things about the person the more you're pushing that person away and the more negative things you're gonna receive all right and you know the power of your mind is that your mind doesn't know if let's say um you're saying um i don't want this if you are saying you don't want this that is what you're gonna be getting because what you resist persists oh i repeat that what you resist persists all right you are using a negative stuff i don't don't use i don't say what you want okay i want love i'm loving i'm kind okay I want kindness that is what don't say i don't want um envy i don't want jealousy when you are saying you don't want your mind would not recognize that don't is the envy that mind is recognizing all right so always don't use negativity in your statements in talking about yourself in talking in saying things about yourself but use positive statement without any negativity in it I believe you're getting what I what I'm what I'm saying. All right, great. Um, and when you keep to this, I tell you, your life is gonna be magnificent. Your life is gonna change. All right. And the moment you manifest one thing, that is going to, I mean, um, develop that edge, that courage in you to keep on using your mind, the power of your mind. All right, to keep on manifesting more things to yourself. You know. To keep on drawing more things to yourself and by the time you know you've changed your life completely that is where the power lies all right that is the secret in changing your life i am telling you all right and that's it chosen ones that's it you see even paul and Silas, when they were arrested arrested all right and they were in chains in a prison okay they understand these things that i'm talking about all right so they don't focus on the negativity they in chains and in affliction being arrested but they rather choose to i mean sing praises and as they sing praises scripture says at midnight all right the prison door shook it shakes and the prison door break open and everyone's chain got what got loose right that is the same thing so praise is powerful blessing someone blessing people praising people even in affliction in, in, in even when they are they, 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 they are showing negativity and stuff is very powerful it takes over the negativity and make changes to happen all right great so that is a chosen one that is it if your focus is to have your dream partner then this is what you got to do i'm telling you all right to some of you using positive affirmations is going to help you all right so make a list and 
on your list describe if you are a female describe the guy you want if you are a male that is a man describe the lady you want i want a faithful honest hard-working sincere person all right who is financially independent as you are writing these things make sure you also work on yourself to become such a person because you draw to you who you are all right and i tell you it is definitely going to happen for you all right so that is what you should do and you are going to speed up this manifestation it will just happen and you will be surprised you will be amazed all right it is powerful it works you know the, 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 there was um a lady friend of mine all right who guys you know used to um, betray her all right and this happened years ago and she talked to me and i told her stop complaining about the guys that are betraying you what is it that you want make a list of what you want in a guy all right and she made a list of what she wants in a guy all right and she keeps on before she sleeps she reads these things aloud to herself all right and she has the feeling that she for sure is gonna um manifest that okay every morning every evening every morning every evening and to our amazement and surprise all right within just one month he met someone and the person took her serious within three months all right the person got married to her i'm telling you they have a baby boy now right so that is how powerful what i'm telling you is what is it that you want just write it it's gonna happen there was this uh lady i remember when i was uh, in the university all right um there was this lady um the place i rent that i used to stay um there was this lady who was um, um how do i call it uh, a nanny is it a nanny all right a babysitter okay for um um the brother's wife okay and um this lady they are not treating her very well right and she told me that she want to be a nurse but her family they are poor there is no hope that she, that that dream is gonna come to pass and i told her all right um you know what she's called peace i said to her peace take a piece of paper take a book write that goal you want to achieve i want to be a nurse all right and every day just keep looking at it all right and she wrote it down all right and as she wrote it i told her if she heard of i mean they getting nurses getting admission and other things she should make an effort to apply she should forget about how to get the money and other things god is gonna make her way all right and she did that she did exactly that and truly to our amazement the magic happened all right she prepared and i mean got the form for the form she was called for interview and other things she passed her and i mean she is a professional nurse right now as okay as i'm doing this video chosen one so what i'm telling you is something that is powerful i shared it with other people they act on it they work on with it and it's helped them and i know it works all right that is the same thing i used to get what i want right it helped it helped me and i know for sure it's gonna help you as well so if that is what you want then chosen one kindly do it and it's gonna help you all right stay blessed i wish you all the best i wish you good luck all right if marriage is your thing it has happened all right be grateful be thankful all right always remember to be grateful and be thankful for what you want all right and i tell you for sure it is gonna happen okay great you see it takes faith to say thank you before the thing even happen yeah it takes faith all right there are a lot of people unless the thing happened before they will say thank you all right but you see am 
among all graces, it is faith that pleases God the most. Even as the thing is not happening, you believe and you start thanking God for it, for having it. All right? You start acting as if you already have it. All right? And that is what pleases God the most. Preparation, preparing yourself. All right? When you ask for rain, you have to prepare with your umbrella, with your raincoat and your boots and stuff. All right? And for sure, it's going to happen. All right? That's it. Okay? That's it. So, that is faith. Okay? That is faith. You see, it, 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 it pleases God when you don't have something and you keep thanking him. You keep acting faith as if you already have it. It, it pleases God the most. Because it's only few people that will do that in adversity, in affliction, in sickness, in disease, that they'll be thanking God. Thank, thank you, God. Thank you for my healing. Thank you for... Even though the sickness is there, they are thanking God for their healing. That is faith. All right? And that is what really proves our sonship, our daughtership with God. All right? Great. So, that's the chosen one. See you in my next video. I'm out for now. Peace.